Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt and today we have a problem that needs to be resolved. As you can see, we have the centrifuge bowl here that recovers our gold. And typically we have the rock crusher just off my right side here. And that creates a problem because your recovery equipment and your rock crusher are on the same level and I don't have conveyor belts. So after I crush the rock, I have to classify it by hand and then bring it over here, feed it into the centrifuge bowl. Then we have our tubs of water with our concentrates in. And it's just not an efficient way to process material. It's super slow and it's just, it's kind of miserable sometimes. So we're gonna try and streamline that today. Uh, we're working on setting up a mill so we can just dump the rock in one side and then waste rock comes out the other side and we don't have to touch it in between that so as you can see we already have the rock crusher up on this platform it's about four feet or so above the concrete pad there and that should hopefully give us plenty of room to feed it into the centrifuge bowl that little feature we had is not long enough so I got a new one made here for now I'll just use these wing nuts because that's what I have handy I'll get them replaced with some washers lock washers nuts later now that we have this feed chute installed roughly where we want it can move the centrifuge bowl back and looking at it this way uh, it's also got to go over that way a little bit now that we have our little feed chute here installed next we need to convert it into a vibrating screen so we got some springs we got stand down here a vibrating motor so we're gonna get that mounted into these couple holes right here Let's see if we can get it to vibrate a little and then we'll install a screen here to classify it i don't know how high off the ground that screen's got to be or sorry the stand so we're going to install it and let it hang and then we will build up some blocks underneath Originally, I wasn't going to have the crusher sitting this high up when I built that stand. That's why it's so short. Kind of sucks now, but too late for that unless I want to rebuild it.
now that we got these bolts that hold the motor on tightened up on both sides we're now able to see where to drill these holes since that one was already drilled Here we go with the very first test. Don't know what's gonna happen. A little nervous, just saying. Apparently the on-off switch on the controller is backwards. Yeah, it's kinda, kinda jumpy. One thing I will have to add in the future is some kind of discharge chute that goes off the side because all the oversized rock is just going to fall down into our tellings or waste rock. We don't want that because a lot of the oversized can still have gold locked up inside of it. got some bigger angle iron here that should help slow down the material and give it time to classify better I hope so now we're gonna fire up and do the second test run and see how well that works other than this one issue it seemed to be going pretty darn good overall I'm happy with the progress I've been able to make on the mill so far I do think I'll need to increase the screening area to get it to classify all the way I can also adjust the vibrating motor a little bit. I can place the counterweights inside and that might help as well. But that's all I have time for today. Gotta go mine some black gold for a few days and so I won't be able to finish the mill today. In the near future I'm going to be adding a feeder to the rock crusher as well as a dewatering system. 